things that are things and welcome back to vlogmas day 16. <laughs> So last week on uh, my Snapchat, I dumped out some bottles of alcohol and I was like, I'm done. I let my hair air dry and I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what it's trying to do today. I'm like, do you want to be in a middle part? Do you, what, what do you want to do? I don't know what it wants to do. I think, I think it wants to do this. I do have some products in my hair that I'm obsessed with because my hair without the products does not look this full and big. So stay tuned for like a hair video soon. I called Anthony, my husband, and I was like, hey, do you mind if I dump these bottles out? Because I am done drinking. And he's mentioned to, you know, he's really into his fitness and his health. And he's been mentioning like, mentioning, like, I think we should stop drinking. Saying little things here and there. Or just saying like, I don't want to drink as much. He's like, yeah, do it. So I'm dumping out these bottles. And I've never done that. Every single time I said I was going to quit drinking, which I didn't start wanting to stop drinking until i hit about 30 and i'm 33 now so before every time i would uh stop drinking i would be like well i'm gonna finish this off first like because we always have alcohol here in the house like 90 percent of the time we have a bottle of something for our nightcap you know we would make a drink sit on the couch watch a tv show watch a movie and it was kind of like a routine that's how i chose to relax so basically the night before I dumped out the bottles and was like, I'm done. Uh, I had about four drinks, four strong drinks. <laughs> so uh, when I woke up the next morning, I felt like death. So the main, main reason for me wanting to quit drinking alcohol is because the recovery is not worth it anymore. I wake up and I literally feel depressed i'm not a depressed person i'm a happy person i love life um so i feel depressed i feel like you guys all know what a hangover feels like right and the older once you hit 30 the recovery from a night out the recovery from drinking alcohol is brutal and so you know for a while there i was like well you're just drinking too much you know because in your 20s that's what a lot of us do we drink we see people drinking alcohol when we're younger we see them having fun you know and then there's this really dark side to alcohol too where it really just makes great people it makes them really sad i was gonna say not so great but that that's it's not true it just makes them uh not the best version of themselves and so on this journey i cannot put that poison in my body anymore definitely more of a spiritual thing for me because like my ego wants it at 31 i tried to i said i was gonna quit i'm like i'm done with alcohol i'm never drinking again date night would come around uh dinner with a girlfriend you know something it would come around and i would drink again i dumped the alcohol out and i'm done drinking you know a lot of people say well, oh just moderation or you just need to have one or two i don't know if i have an allergy to it if I have one or two, I still feel like shit. Like my body is literally telling me we don't want this. We don't want one drink. <laughs> we don't want we don't want a drop of this shit basically. So, I'm just trying to honor so I'm just trying to honor my body. It just doesn't benefit me anymore. It doesn't benefit me in any kind of way. For a while, it may have served me, you know, in some some weird way. I feel like it served me. It's it's it served me through my twenties, <laughs> and um, it was fun. But I feel like it's one of those things that it's it's no longer welcome uh, in my body. The past couple of years, every time I drink, I I suffer. I suffer. Um, while I'm drinking, I get really hot. Um, my neck gets really red. And that happens for me when I'm sober, when I'm like nervous or anxious. When I drink, it, it, uh, it just doesn't feel good like it used to. It doesn't hit like it used to. I used to drink alcohol and it made me confident. Um, I've relied on alcohol for many years for my confidence. Um, without it, I didn't feel very confident. And so I'm uh, just excited. I'm gonna get emotional, oh my gosh. 
I'm excited to see what confidence looks like for me on this journey without alcohol. In social situations, I've relied on alcohol for so long that when I am sober and I'm in a social situation, I'm like, oh, I wish I had a drink right now so I can deal with this interaction. And the more I reflect and I'm self-aware, I'm like, that's unhealthy. Like, that's not okay. So on my path and the work that I am here to do, from this point moving forward, like alcohol cannot be a part of that journey. So yeah, basically alcohol is a crutch that I no longer want in my life. So I just wanted to share this with you guys because when I snapped me dumping out the vodka, the response that I got was like just so unexpected. I had, you know, you guys sending me videos of dumping out your bottles and you're like, I've been wanting to quit. I was gonna finish this off, but I'm gonna do it now. And people checking in with me like, hey, uh, I know you dumped out your alcohol the other day. I did too, um, haven't drank in three days or four days, you know, and that may sound silly to some people, but addiction is so real. I'm really excited for this new path. I'm excited to, ah, I'm excited to, to know who I am without that because um i've let it define me for a long time you know it's just been part of the whole party scene being in you know my 20s and how i socialize like i ah! i don't know how to socialize almost like without it you know and i'm I, and it's scary because i'm like well that's what i do though like when i'm out with friends like that's what we do we go there's always an excuse to drink right like someone's in from out of town someone's leaving out of town someone's birthday someone's this or that and i get it some people can consume alcohol and it's not a problem for them but for me it was and that like um was hard to say it was hard to say because like once i hit 30 and i would drink and then i would feel bad i'm like why do you keep drinking if it makes you feel this way and then i'm like do you have you don't have a problem you don't you're not you don't have a problem like i kept telling myself that and then the other day like it hit me i'm like no this is a problem because you keep drinking and you feel like shit so it's a problem so i just wanted to share the beginning of this little journey with you guys because i know that i'm not alone and i know i'm not the only one that struggles with this so thank you guys so much for watching and i will make more videos on this topic because i feel like there are lots of mothers there are lots of women even men you know but um in my community, which is mostly women, I see mothers suffering and I see mothers drowning in alcohol. And I just want this to be kind of a safe space to talk about things like that and to get through it together. So I have a lot of stuff that I need to do today. I just really wanted to get this up and um, out. And uh, sorry for missing a couple days of Vlogmas. I am trying my best. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And I will see you tomorrow.